Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for Episode 2, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the new trailer for Episode 2. Not very long, but we got some stuff that is really interesting to talk about. So, I want to say, guys, go check out my review that came out earlier. It obviously hasn't got the same reception as, say, my reviews like halfway through the season because it's just come back and people are just getting into the swing of things. I reckon some people haven't even watched the episode yet, but some people are sort of bursting to see it. So go check it out if you haven't. I'm just saying that, pointing it out in case you haven't. But let's get into today's video and it's going to be every week. Remember, the reviews come out first about 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. UK time. Then the trailer breakdowns come out from around 8 to about 10 o'clock in the evening in the UK time. That is my rough time scheduling sort of schedule for The Flash and Supergirl. And I'm going to be catching up with Arrow in the next few days before Arrow comes back next week. And fingers crossed it's going to be the same. So that's how things are going to go for now. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer is a shot that we've seen in some past trailers. This is inside the time vault. We got the old newspaper where it said the 2024... Flash missing vanishes in crisis. They expected, oh, we still got five more years, but no. Last episode, at the end of the episode, the monitor revealed it's happening in 2019, and he specifically said a date, December the 10th. That's really important to note down. That is the day, the exact same day in real life that we are getting the Flash's crisis episode. Okay, so who's in there? I do believe it's Iris. Cisco and Barry. I could be wrong. There might be more. There might be less than that It might just be Iris and Barry, but I'm pretty sure the person you see on the screen is not either of them Okay, so we get this wide shot and so they're near the prisons in Star Labs and so they're underground and They're talking together. That is Barry and Iris obviously then we cut to Barry and Barry says I need to see this crisis for myself and then we cut to Iris and she says, where will you go? And then it cuts again and Barry says, the day after I disappear. Wow. So that's a big revelation. So with the shot reverse shot with Iris and Barry talking together right down there, what is revealed in the trailer that Barry is going to time travel. He's time traveling this episode. At one point he's going to be stopped by Jay Garrick and he's going to be on Earth 3. But we'll talk about the details to do with that in a minute. So what he has revealed is he's going to go to December the 11th, 2019, which is the day after he goes missing and he's going to see essentially the repercussions of Crisis. So presumably Crisis starts, I don't know, like a week before December the 10th. And I think when Barry goes missing, I think that's going to be the last day. So the day after, I reckon you will see the havoc of what Crisis has caused and you know, we've seen the other trailers and we've heard the dialogue that Barry says to Jay Garrick and this new version of Nora Allen. In fact, what he says is there is billions of deaths and I've seen it all essentially, I'm paraphrasing right there. But essentially, you get the gist. Shit's gonna go down, he's gonna see all these different versions of the future. He's gonna, you know, see an iteration where, you know, the Flash is dead, the Flash is missing essentially, and Crisis has happened and the Anti-Monitor has succeeded. I think it's going to be very desolate, the world, and I think we'll have glimpses in this episode. I do believe we get glimpses in this trailer, which we'll talk about in a minute. So yeah, let's move on. And so Barry, in reply to Iris, finally says, I promise in regards to coming back to this exact point, you know something's gonna fuck up before he comes back to that exact same point, like it normally does. And then the trailer goes, catch a glimpse, and it's overlaid with Barry, running um, through Star Labs and he's time traveling. I do believe this is actually in the episode because I don't recognize the shot. So he's running, he's gonna time travel and he goes through the vortex or whatever we call them, you know, the breach. Okay, so then we go to CCPD and we have Joe West and what is Joe doing? Something is happening in his office. He's looking down towards the ground. The camera's in a low angle. And so Joe is very shocked he's got a face of fear on him essentially so i can't crack down what it is maybe it is a f sort of look forward into the future maybe this is when crisis happens although it kind of looks like it could just be present day so some sort of disturbance has happened and so then we move on and 
this is what I'm talking about in regards to Earth 3. We have a new shot of Barry. He's in the sort of chair, the electric chair, but it's not an electric chair, it's a chair that Barry's going to be using on Earth 3. And I believe it's going to help him actually, you know, see the future. Maybe he time travels, Jay Garrick stops him like he's done in the past, and Jay sort of gives glimpses of the future rather than Barry physically going there to see them. And I think that is the method that's going to go down probably in this episode because I do think Jay's going to stop him from time traveling and fucking up everything like he normally does. And so you see him, the electricity or the speed force energy is surging off of himself into this chair and he's in shock. You can see that by his face. And I believe Jay Garrick's helmet's just, you know, conducting the electricity from Barry into this chair and vice versa. So yeah, just a really cool shot. I really like that. And then it goes the end of days. And so this is the shot where I do believe that we are seeing a glimpse of the future. We see Ralph and Iris, they are screaming. And this is definitely new for sure. Like I do not recognize this. This is a glimpse of the future of what's happening to them and things are going haywire and I believe this is Barry seeing them all die. So he talks about the millions and billions of deaths and I believe he's going to see some of his team members die including his wife in this instance of the future. And so at the end of days and it cuts to Star Labs exploding as we've seen in a lot of the past trailers. Then we move on, we see Barry, and Barry is in this chair, it's that close up, it's basically the same shot as we've been getting in those other trailers, apart from they've added some visual effects to it. We got the lightning coursing around his face into the chair, and you know, it coming you know, into Barry, I'm not sure which way it's coming, if it's coming from the chair or if it's coming from Barry, it kind of looks more like it's coming from the chair, but... It would make sense if it was like the speed force energy doing that unless it's like some sort of surge to make Barry see the future and it's some sort of new technique that Jay has perfected. I'm not sure. And so then we go back and we got a wide shot. We got Nora, this new version, who is Jay Garrick's fiance or wife, I do believe. And so Jay's here and Jay's with Barry and Barry's recovering or, you know, it's just before, but it kind of looks like he's recovering because... This is very similar to the angle when we go close up to Barry's face when he's crying in those past few trailers and he's obviously in his casual wear, he's not in the chair, he's lying down so that hints at he is resting because something has happened to him because he's seen this traumatic sort of thing go down in the future where he's seeing all these people die that he knows and you know all these innocent people you know he's essentially seeing you know a version of crisis just in his head. Okay, so then we see Jay, and one of the last few lines of the trailer is from Jay, and Jay said, what do you see there, kid? So, yeah, it does seem like in this instance, it's going to be the chair that is going to be the thing that's going to ignite sort of his visions into the future. I mean, I could be wrong, and it could be this means that Jay's just caught him from time traveling, like he's noticed that he's time traveled, Barry's seen some stuff, and then Jay's brought him straight back to Earth 3, sort of chained him down and been like, what have you seen there, kid? What happens? We need to know because we don't want you to fuck with the timeline because that is like Jay Garrick's whole shtick, really. You know, don't fuck with the timeline. Don't do anything wrong. Otherwise, you're going to mess with it. And so the last shot is of Barry and he's in a state of shock, as you can see. And he's just sort of static. He's got, you know, a glisten in his eyes, sort of a bit teary eyed and you know, it's close up to emphasize his emotion and his emotions are flowing in the scene. So that is it for this trailer breakdown, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos as we head towards next week where we'll have episode two of The Flash and Supergirl and we'll have episode one of Arrow. So I'll have some other videos out over the weekend and over the next few days before the shows come back. And also remember to subscribe because we are really close to 100,000 subscribers. I do believe YouTube is actually glitching out because I've been checking, I've been gaining subscribers. But yet the subscribe count has been on the same thing for like a week. So I'm really confused unless I'm like exponentially losing a shit ton of subscribers, which I don't know what I've done, like if that is the case. But anyway. Thank you guys for your support and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.
icy room.